Okay, I'm in the Tech Museum, and this is a surprise to me. This is their new exhibit, uh, Body Worlds Decoded. And I did a video like this uh, about Bally's. Uh, in Bally's, there's an exhibit called the Bodies Exhibit, but this one is completely different. This is more an educational type display thing. So I'm gonna walk you through. Um, they got the skeleton. I'm gonna try to go slow, because a lot of people were complaining that I was going too fast in the other video. And you got a skeleton. It just shows, these are real human bones. This isn't the type that, you know, it's plastic. Um, they're actual parts of a human body from at some point in time. But they also have this little fun thing where you walk forward and they use a Kinect technology. And see, it shows me I could weigh it high. And you can see my muscles. Um, but here is uh, the ligaments and tendons that go together on a body. It gets a little bit more dramatic in a minute. They have some action poses. But this just shows how everything sticks together because it's the ligaments. They have some detailed pieces over in the cabinets over here. Little cases. This, I really like this one. They, they got bionic joints, okay. Hip joints. And how those go together. But um, the real fun stuff is this one right here. It's a guy playing baseball. And um, at Bally's, when they had that exhibit, I don't know if they still do, maybe they do, but this is the baseball player and it shows how your muscles change or uh, are placed when you're swinging your body here. So you can walk all the way around this display. So you get to see the back side, and you get to see his skull opened up right there. Oh, I see the stack. I yeah, see a circle with a bit of brown stuff in it. Okay. <laughs> And so, we don't all look the same on the inside, because this guy obviously looks a lot more European than in the other exhibit that I had seen in Vegas. And so this guy's a singer, in a singer's pose, and you can see his lungs and his throat, his trachea. And this is a flamenco dancer. See the emptied out chest cavity. And the funnest part is to see the smoker's lungs, opposed to healthy lungs, because people always want to know. There's the smoker's lungs all black and tar filled. But this is healthy lungs. And if you get rid of the lungs and you remove the bronchial tree, that's what that looks like. Now, somebody was asking about the nervous system. And so this is the nervous system, which includes like all the neural networks. And your brain. Here's an Alzheimer's brain and I guess a normal looking brain. Trying to go as slow as possible.
Okay, as you keep going, there's a whole nother side to this exhibit. This is a hand plastic, plastic casting where they inject plastic into the arm. So the veins, arteries, and capillaries. And the actual heart cross section. And you'll notice that the right atrium is on the left hand side because it's from the body's perspective. Plastic yes, I know, I know, I know, vein I know, and I know. artery casting with like in the heart. Your arteries. You know how you can feel your pulse on the side of your neck? Here, Here is your jumping dancer. But it's very odd how they did this one. They they have the dancer. But they also have something dragging around in the back, which would be his back side. And again, these guys look much more European than at Bally's with the bodies exhibit there. And this guy, I don't know if he was a real dancer because he's a smoker. If you look at the other thing, and it's smoker's lungs versus healthy lungs, this specimen is definitely a smoker if you look at that. So, somebody was wondering, well, what's that thing dragging around his back? Well, if you pull the spine and the brain out, and there's the kidneys, the ureters, Okay, and then you've got the whole spine torn and pulled back and the brain's hanging at the bottom. So all you have to do is bring that back up and set it back into the skull cavity. <gasps> what is that? Okay, so <laughs> Here we have a standing woman. Hello, miss. Heart, lungs. And this is your digestive system, which we just learned about in science, which goes from tongue to esophagus, not trachea, esophagus, to the inside stomach lining, including the villi. You got the liver there that turns nitrogen into urea, and you've got the small intestines that lead and you see all of those arteries that would have been connected to it, delivering the nutrition. And you say if you spread this across the floor, it'd be about 30 feet. But there, that connection right there, is where you start having the large intestine. Okay, you got the chemical processing plant of the liver, a shrunken liver or cirrhosis of the liver. That's the healthy one, and this is the cirrhosis one. This is the stomach, the pancreas, appendix. Oh, and that's the inside of the small intestine. This is a difference between a slim, healthy guy versus a 300 pound guy. This is the internal organs, including lungs, heart, and stomach, all the way leading out the large intestines. That's how it would be packed in. This is a woman flamenco dancer. Yeah, it's the female flamenco dancer. Then we go to 
two. Hormones. The female pelvis. Oh, this is what we just learned about, is the bladder. Prostate gland. Here's the, the whole part that we saw in our science book with the kidneys, the ureters, the bladder that leads outward. And that's the inside of the kidney. So filtration and reproduction. To finish it off, you have this gentleman over here, a docent that explains how at Stanford there was a guy who had leukemia and uh, they sliced his body into millimeter, uh, two millimeter slices and turned it into a display where you could do. So 8,500 pictures later, they're at the top of his head with a massive amount of data and all the ability to display it. So you could do, ooh, real, real illustration in 3D, 3D.